Hello, welcome. I'm going to show you guys how to run a node on AWS. So first things first, create an AWS account. I already have one, so I will just log in. Go to launch a virtual machine. Then you can pick anyone you want, but for this instance, we will pick Ubuntu. Let's go down here and let's pick the Ubuntu. We'll do the free tier. Well, it's review and launch. We'll launch it. Um, we'll, we'll let's create a new key pair. I'll do AWS pre search. I think it's like seven, we'll just do seven just because, and I'll download it. And you want to have a folder that you can put that in. Um, sorry, this is my code there. I'll go here and I'll keep it in this file. Um, so we'll click launch instance. I don't know why that did it like that, but um, basically you want to go to the terminal. Um, and you can click new window if you have an open, or you can command space and hit terminal and open one up. Um, but since I already have it here, I'm going to go to my directory. So CD, um, I'll go to my desktop first, and then go to the file where I put those keys, which is this one right here. So it's in my desktop, research docker. Awesome. So let's see, my instance should be running. Good, it is running. So then we'll go here. And we'll click connect. And we'll copy this. And run it. Oops, um, I have to run sudo actually. So sudo. Yes, and boom, once you see a screen thing, that means your uh, terminal is live. So next thing you need to do is um, uh, download Docker onto here. And so I have some I know too, but you can go back and see it in the, uh, in the form. So basically you're gonna want to run this, these codes right here. So you would do C URL. This kind of does this. I'll, this will be in the, in the form, so that worked. We do sudo docker get uh, sh, and that will pull Docker. And that might take a little bit to load. Awesome. So now you see it's ready to go. Now we'll run our commands. So this is sudo docker run. Boom. So this is the auto updater. And then this launches the node here. It's a pseudo docker pull and then another pseudo docker, uh, which actually registers your code. So you have to replace your registration code um, in this nodes tab here. You have to copy and paste that, um, which is mine. And then this is here, so we'll hit enter again. And then we will paste it. And now we are searching. There you go. To see your node, your new node, if you refresh this page. Uh, up at the top here. So this says no description, you can name it and stake your keywords against it. So I'll name this, um, AW, uh, let's see, AWS, this is like four, I think. So we'll update that. And if you go back to the notes, you'll see it there, AWS four.